Hello everyone, today we'll continue learning Twisted and we'll write some improvements for our chat which uses Twisted. In the last step that we created chat where two or more users can interact with each other. So when user connects, it can receive data or send data back. And every user in our network receives data which was sent by another user. So yeah, that's basically all. Okay, and today we'll, we'll create names for our users and we'll create uh, some improvements. So let's start. First of all, when our user disconnects, uh, our list self.users is not changing at all. And that's bad. Because, for example, when 1000 users connect and then all of them disconnect, our list self.users has 1000 users in it. And it can cause, can cause some errors like um, the, um, memory errors and so on. So I'll write method code define um, connection lost and we should provide as you see self argument and reason which equals to connection done so connection done it's as you can see it's a failure so it's kind of an exception which is built into twisted and yeah so connection done we should import it from twisted.internet.protocol as we imported our protocol capitalized and when our connection is lost, what we need to do? Self.users.remove self. And that's basically all. So, uh, when our connection is made, we append our server, our protocol, to the list of users. And when our connection is lost, we simply remove our uh, protocol from users array because our client was, our client disconnected and there is no point to keep our um, client in self.users array. Okay, and now let's have a look at our client. So, uh, the main error here is disconnections. So, where our, co our client is disconnecting, for example, it lost the connection or it cannot connect at all, nothing happens. But, um, Twisted provides some methods to avoid these errors. For example, def connection, uh, client connection failed, and we can print reason. So client connection failed is a method which provided by Twisted. It uh, requires self, connector, and re reason. So reason is a variable which tells you why your connection was lost. Connector is a thing which will be used for reconnecting. And that's all. So you can write uh, print connection reason, or for example, lock connection reason. So you will see why your connection was failed, and then connector.reconnect. And that's basically all. So, as you can see here, we print our reason and then we reconnect. Okay, and the same is happening with client connection lost. But the main difference between uh, client connection lost and client connection failed is when they are called. So, Twisted is an event-based framework. And when our connection was failed, so we cannot reconnect connect at all. For example, our server is offline and our client cannot connect because there is no server on the net. Client connection failed is caused. But when we was connected or we have been connected and then our connection was lost. For example, we went to the underground and our internet connection was lost. And client connection lost is called. So again, client connection failed if we cannot connect at all. Client connection lost when we have been connected and suddenly lost our connection. But there is another method of doing it, and it's called reconnecting client factory. So instead of uh, from twisted.protocol import client factory, I will import reconnecting client factory. And as you can see, I name it CL factory, so I don't need to change anything in my quest client CL factory. And then what I will do instead of connect connector.reconnect, I will write reconnecting client factory. Oh, CO factory because I named it CO factory here. Dot client connection lost because I'm in function client connection lost. And I should provide self connector, so connector, which is passed, and then reason. And that's all. So again, here 
SEO factory dot. And because we are in function client connection failed, it's better or it's right to provide client connection failed. So again, self connector reason. That's all. Okay. Uh, and why we should use um, reconnecting client factory instead of just connector dot reconnect. First of all, because reactor client reconnecting client factory connecting every second. So imagine that your connection was lost. And after that, client uh, reconnecting factory connects every second, tries to connect every second. And that's all. If we use connector dot reconnect, we connect, we try to reconnect only once. And I think that's bad because it's better to reconnect every second and uh, have persistent connection with your server or that's just better. <laughs> okay. And yeah. And the second reason is reconnecting client factory is provided by twisted and it's used for uh, clients which want to be reconnected. And yeah, that's easy. And what I want to, to add now is names. So mm, names, it's just for fun. So when our client is connected, um, so I can write in client define connection made. So when connection is made, what we need to do print write your name. And that's all. So uh, when our client is connected, we write its name. No, we we tell client that he is uh, he must write his name and then in the server, what I will do instead of list of users, so the self dot users will be dictionary. And then when our connection is made, um, instead of appending our user here, I'll delete that line. But when our data is received um, in self protocol, so in our server protocol, I will create self dot nick or self dot name, which is equals to empty string and if uh, self dot name if not self dot name so if we don't have our name what we need to so that means that our data which was sent by the client it's his name if data and we should decode our data so data equals data dot decode utf8 and then um, when our data is decoded if self dot users if data not in self.users. So if named uh, not in self.users, it's just to avoid duplicates in self.users names. And then if name in, not in self.users, I will create self.add user function, for example, and in define add user, it should provide user. So we will pass here name. And um, then self dot users by that user equals to our mm, to our to self okay so what i do here instead of appending our server protocol to our users i created um if not name self so uh, our user first of all passes his nickname and once nickname or name is passed we created um here we create a dictionary and we add value to its dictionary by using username. And that's all. So self.users, user equals self. And everything works fine here. But what I want to do is, if not self name, I'll create add or self dot add user. And we'll provide data here. And here I will It's just better to do something like this because we don't have a mess in our data received function and that's all. Okay. Add user works and uh, if if um, our username username is unique, we add our user or we self dot transport dot send or self dot transport dot write. And we write something like wrong username. So if I try another, comma try another. So and we um, encode it. 
as UTF-8. And that's all. Okay, in our connection host, we don't want to remove, but we want to delete self, uh, delete self.users where self. And that's all. Or And it's better to, you know what, it's better to, first of all, we provide self and then name. Okay, and now when we, when our connection is lost, we delete uh, self.users by our protocol. And it's just better. So I changed name and self positions. Okay, and user.transport.write. And again, we used dictionary in our uh, server factory. And we cannot iterate throughout all of our users. What we need to do? We need to uh, create something like this. So instead of just user protocol, then comma name protocol not equals to self and protocol the transport dot write not just data but here I will decode our data so data equals data dot decode UTF eight and in my add user I cannot can omit that line and just name data rename data to name okay so I decoded my data here then I do something like this and here in protocol self dot transfer dot write what I will do I will formatting string self dot name plus uh, not plus uh, so self dot name and data and then we decode it again to be bytes so, uh, not decode but encode it okay so what I do here I uh, created formatting string and everything in uh, curly brackets is variables which were uh, which were got by Python. So I can write here, for example, instead of data, I can write one plus one. It and it will give me two, but I want data, just data. Okay. And uh, when we send strings to our clients, what I do? First of all, we self uh, we send our name. So who written that message? Then we send our data. And we encode it to be bytes. And that's all. Okay, and what I need to do here is once our user was added to self.users dictionary, I will do self.name equals to name. And that's basically all. So another method of sending data here is you can just protocol name for self.users dot values not values but keys and keys variable will give you all of our servers because in add user we add um, server protocol as a key yeah and that's all and I think it's better because we don't use name of our user yet so now let's test our server so I run my server no errors as you can see then I run my client and it says new connection and our client says write your name or and hello from server and we, I think we should remove that line because it's wor worthless and then for example hello or uh, we should write our name so user1 and um, let's for example write a message and we need to append another client because we won't receive our own message uh, and let's write second user second so and as a client. Oh, and as you can see, user second writes user two. And that's, I think, an error or a bug because we can see um, user two nickname is written. Okay, but now I'll fix that bug. But let's write hello user one as user two. And as you can see, user two says hello user one. Hello user two. As you can see, user1, hello user2. Everything works fine. So, uh, when our user is connects, what I need to do here is just return. I forgot. So, if we don't have our name, we append our user um, with name it's sent, and then we return mm, data received function just to avoid uh, sending our name to everyone. So, and now let's test it again. I'll do it quickly. So I run my first server and I run my clients. 
Okay, write your name. Mm, for example, Tony and user two. Server says new connection two times, and for example, hello, uh, hello one two three. And once I go to the second client, I can see Tony says hello one two three, and everything works fine, and we don't receive any um, messages that we don't that we shouldn't receive. So as you can see, everything works fine. In the future, we will write UI and for our UI for client and database for our server. But for now, I think everything works fine and there is no bugs in our code. Good luck.